vote are legally allowed to vote no different than those boards of elections who are required when a petition of statewide matters are presented to the county boards of elections they are charged with ensuring that those who have signed the said petitions are in fact registered voters and from time to time i know hold your breath some people may write down fictitious names on those very petitions that doesn't suggest that those behind the petition gathering are somehow involved in some nefarious activities and, and trying to to uh, perpetuate or, or, or demonstrate uh, or create a, a an election that is fraud. The Ohio Republican Party and their friends in Greene County, for instance, and spread across the state and the nation, are in the process, in the midst of trying to disenfranchise voters. This I know, because if they weren't, Kevin DeWine would be standing next to me urging that John Husted's name be thrown from the rolls in Montgomery County and that he would be disenfranchised as a voter. I wouldn't expect Kevin to do that because he knows better. Those 700,000 voters who registered from January 1st through today, or through September 30th, October 6th rather, their vote and those voters matter. So if it's one single mom in East Cleveland or a business owner in Batavia or a plumber or an apprentice plumber or a hopeful plumber in the west side of Toledo, if they want their votes to count, we're going to stand up for and with them to make sure their votes do count. The fact of the matter is that George Smith, who, by the way, his son is, I, I believe, the acting executive director of the Re Republican uh, Party here in Franklin County, if they want to continue, with the help of the federal courts, to disenfranchise voters, we'll stand up and point out this. Ohio's voter laws, voter registration laws, were last updated a couple of years ago under the penmanship, the authorship, of Kevin DeWine and John Houston. They passed a, a flawed bill. Democrats tried to intervene and change those, that bill, but that bill was signed into law by Bob Tad. Ironically, now the Secretary of State is now given the task of enforcing this crafted legislation, this, this, this poorly cra crafted legislation. Jennifer Bruner cannot make up rules as she goes. She has to, make, she has to enforce the Ohio Revised Code, and the Ohio Revised, Revised Code does not allow for names to be purged in the way that the Ohio Republican Party want them to be purged. And that is the point of my gathering here today with all of you. I welcome your questions.